purpose of this video is to talk you through the steps involved in setting up your E117 activity tracker, the Medisana VFIT Touch. This step-by-step -step guide should be read in association with the instruction manual that you receive with your activity tracker. If you have any difficulty setting up your tracker, there is further support available on the Medisana website. We have provided a link to this on the Using Your Activity Tracker page. Step 1. Charge your activity tracker. To charge your activity tracker, plug the USB end of the cable provided into a computer or plug socket and attach the other end to the activity tracker as shown on the picture on screen now. The charger should connect magnetically to the two metal circles on the back of your tracker. Step 2. Install the VitaDoc Plus app on your device. The next thing you need to do is install the Medisana VitaDoc Plus app onto your phone or tablet. The app is available for both Apple and Android devices in the App Store or Google Play. You should be able to find it by searching for Medisana. You will need to set up an account. Remember to keep a note of your username and password as you will need them again later. Step 3. Connect the activity tracker to your device. Next you need to connect the activity tracker to your phone or tablet. This is done via Bluetooth. First you need to activate the Bluetooth on your phone or tablet and then open the VitaDoc Plus app. Click on Device List. This will then open up a list of devices from which you should select VFIT Touch. Then click on Set up device. You will be prompted to add your body weight and daily step and sleep target. Then you'll be prompted to connect the tracker to your phone or tablet. Follow the instructions that appear on the screen which will be similar to what you can see on this screen now. You will be told when you have successfully connected. There is more guidance on how to do this in the instruction manual and on the Medisana Online Help Centre website. Step 4. Start using your activity tracker. You are now ready to use your activity tracker. We recommend that you wear it all the time so it gives a more accurate picture of your activity levels. When you wear it, it will record information about your activity levels such as the number of steps you have taken. To upload this data to the VitaDoc Plus app, you need to open the app, wait for it to find your activity tracker, and then when you see this screen, click on the circular arrows and your data will upload. Unlike some other activity trackers, your data will not automatically upload to the app, so you need to regularly go through this process, for example, every day. Once you have uploaded your data into the VitaFit Plus app, you can view it in various different formats and graphs. We recommend that you have a play around with the app to get familiar with the different options. Step 5. Share your data with other E117 students. The VitaDoc app allows you to view your personal data, but we would also like you to share your data with other E117 students so that we can look at activity data for the group as a whole. Please be assured that this data is anonymised and your name will not be shared with other students. If you are happy to share your data, you need to authorise this through the E117 app. If you haven't already installed the E117 app on your smartphone or tablet, you can download it from the App Store for Apple devices or Google Play for Android devices. If you are unsure on how to download the app, then please refer to the guidance in the module guide. Go to the E117 app and select Activity Tracker. You should then see a screen similar to this. Click on the Medisana button. Then you will be asked to sign in with your VitaDoc Plus username and password. Once you've entered your username and password, you will be asked to give Medisana permission to share your activity data with the E117 app. Remember, it will not share personal information such as your name. If you are happy to do this, click on the Allow button. 
Step six, view the E117 activity data. Once you've authorized the E117 app to view your activity data, you can start to use the activity tracker part of the app. Please bear in mind that the data can take a while to pull through from the Vitadoc app into the dashboard. When you open the activity tracker part of the E117 app, it will open on the dashboard. The dashboard gives you a summary of your personal activity data. On the left hand menu, you will see that there are three other tabs that you can select. These are activity, leaderboard and edit profile. The edit profile tab allows you to enter your personal details such as height, weight and age. Changing the daily steps goal will alter the information you see on the dashboard. When you enter your weight and height, your BMI, body mass index, will automatically be calculated. The activity tab allows you to further analyse your personal activity data and that of E117 students as a whole. Within this tab, you can view various graphs that show your activity levels in comparison to other E117 students. You can also look at differences in activity levels between E117 students of different ages and genders. You can choose the date range that you look at and the type of graph that you want. We recommend that you have a play around with this page to become familiar with its functionality. The module materials will also guide you through the process of generating these graphs. The leaderboard tab is just a bit of fun and allows you to see where you are ranked in a league table of daily and weekly steps amongst all E117 students. You will note that you can only see your own name and that all other students are anonymised. I hope you found this video useful and I hope that you enjoy using your activity tracker. If you require any further assistance, please refer to the links in the module guide.